Hi everyone, well welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, I'm in the back shed again, but it's not a building project of any sort. It's actually going to be a little bit of a cooking demonstration or a cook up. And uh, what we're going to cook up tonight is some uh, homemade pizzas. And uh, we did this the other night when we were camping and it turned out absolutely fantastic. I used a new product that I just got recently. Um, Mr. Terry G from Handcrafted by Terry G. I'll put his logo up there again. Give him as many plugs as I can. He's getting great support on his YouTube channel. Thanks very much, guys. Terry actually designed this uh, chopping board here for me, the uh, Handcrafted by Terry G. Terry G. Terry G chopping <laughs> board. Uh, he's done a few of them for me because I've changed my YouTube name that many times. But uh, absolutely fantastic job. He's just done a video too on how he makes these chopping boards. Make sure you check it out. It's uh, going gangbusters. Everyone's really interested in uh, how he uh, records or not how he records, but how he makes these chopping boards. Absolutely fantastic. But uh, Cherry, I keep saying Cherry or Terry, but uh, Terry... Uh, Recently, uh, when we were going camping with him, he was using a um, little uh, gas butane cooker. And uh, it was uh, one from uh, Super Cheap Auto, I think. Uh, there's a couple of different people making them, uh, Super Cheap Auto and uh, also uh, All For Adventure, which are through BCF. And I recently hinted that I had bought one from uh, All For Adventure and it's behind the desk here in this uh, little bag that I have. Now I'm not going to do an unboxing or tell you all about it. There's plenty of videos online about these little gas cookers, but I'm going to use it with the help of my winter well, or not winter, winner well, winner, fast fold oven, which I have got a video about. And this is it here. I'm going to be using this on top of this to cook up some pizzas. I think Terry put a video up the other day, he was using the winter well uh, to cook up a roast. I'm gonna be using it tonight to cook up a pizza because Terry actually did a pizza cook up inside this just on its own with the lid and shows you how to do it. I'm gonna try that as well, but uh, I wanna use the winter well and I'm also going to be using a Weber pizza stone. So I'm going to get this uh, cranking up nice and warm and uh, get the pizzas in there. I've already done it, so I already know how they turn out. But uh, I want to show you guys. So if you get inspired and uh, want to uh, have a go at it yourself, give you a few options uh, for cooking. I've cooked up pizzas um, when we've been camping uh, in the camp cube. I'll see if I can find a photo or some footage or something and show you that as well. I've got a video about it as well. We are camping in a uh, bush camp down near uh, New South Wales and uh, we cooked up some beautiful pizzas in a camp oven and uh, they turned out absolutely fantastic. But uh, we want to try it on top of the uh, All For Adventure little butane stove with the Winnerwell Fast Fold Oven. You can buy all these products just about everywhere and all the ingredients I'm using too I've bought uh, locally at uh, supermarkets. I got all mine at Woolies. So, uh, it's all stuff you can buy and uh, you can use different bases if you want to and different ingredients. Annie doesn't like cheese or anything like that, so her pizzas won't have cheese. Mine will. I love anything on pizza, including pineapple. Who likes pineapple on pizzas? I absolutely love it. I think it should be the first thing that goes on, but uh, there's a million different toppings you can put on it. I'm going to keep it pretty simple tonight. But... Uh, Let's go through all the ingredients and then we'll start the cook up A eh? and I'll show you how I set up the uh, All For Adventure. So I've got a few ingredients down here. Got me tomatoes, tomato paste. Now I've got some um, pizza dough that I bought from Woolies. I'll put a photo of it up on the screen there and uh, show you what it looks like. I'll take a photo of the packet, sit that up on the screen. These are really good because they're already made. you just got to take them out of the fridge, get them to room temperature, stretch them out into the uh, size of the pizza that you need and uh, make your pizza. makes it really easy if you don't want to make the uh, dough up. On the other video I did, we actually made the dough ourselves. But uh, with these ones here, you can buy them, stick them in the fridge, pull them out. makes up a beautiful sized pizza. 
What else have I got? I bought these little, I uh, haven't tried these before, little mini capsicums. I'm going to chop those up and throw on them. And the meat we use, we like um, keeping it really simple when we make our pizzas. We like a meat pizza. We buy these uh, roast beef or your beef briskets. You can buy a whole heaps of different ones. Um, you just heat them up in a oven or you can do them in your travel buddy. You can do them in the winter well if you want to. Get them heated up first, get them all cooked up, and then uh, all you got to do is break them all up, throw them on your pizza. I've got some other ingredients. I'll quickly go grab them. I've got a fridge going in the back here. Just keeping the stuff that should be cold, cold till I get to it. Got some diced bacon, gonna cook that up. And we've got some um, roasted veggies that we, uh, we just bought these roasted veggies at Woolies. They're in a little aluminium tray. We just cooked them up in the um, air fryer before we left. We vacuum sealed them and uh, then you just throw them on top of the pizza and you got meat, veggies on a pizza. And I've got some uh, bigger, tasty, low fat cheese. So that's about it. I've just got to get in and uh, start getting it all prepared. I've already put the uh, meat on in the air fryer inside today. But like I said, when we were away the other day, I actually heated it up in the travel buddy and then uh, threw it on the uh, pizza when we were ready to use it. But uh, for today's purposes, I'm just going to quickly heat this up in the air fryer inside. But you can heat it up when you're out camping if you haven't got availability to 240 volt. So let's get into it and get the cook up started. Cheers everyone. Okay, I'm just going to get some uh, preparation done. I want to cook up some uh, diced bacon first. So I got my actual induction cooker out and uh, kind of cheat a bit. Just going to use it. But if you're out camping, I'd just use the All for Adventure and uh, just throw the little fire pan on, cook all the bacon, and cook all this stuff up first before I actually start the cook up. But uh, But uh, my assistant out there just uh, handed me a plate. So all I'm gonna do is uh, cook up the bacon first, chop up the uh, capsicum, and uh, throw all that in, get it all cooked up. Because if you've got all this stuff cooked up, you can just uh, throw it on top of your pizza. And uh, all you're basically doing then is uh, Heating, heating the uh, pizza up and uh, cooking the base in the uh, little winter well oven which uh, should brown up really good but if you got all the ingredients pretty well cooked then uh, all you're basically doing is reheating the pizza and melting the cheese or whatever other toppings that you've got on it so I'll get this cooked I'll throw the capsicum in get that cooked up as well and uh, then we'll be on to the next step. We'll be back soon. Okay, I've got the capsicum all chopped up. So we'll throw that in, eh? Old Terry's chopping board's coming in really good here. So we'll just uh, fry up this capsicum, fry up the bacon a little bit more and that should be about it. But uh, I'll get this cooked up put it in the bowl, just get in everything prepared first because with these pizzas, try and get everything done and then uh, just a matter of getting your, um, getting the winter well set up, getting the uh, hot plate up to temperature and uh, then getting the pizzas cooked and served up. I'll show you a little bit more in a minute. Okay, we've just about got all the preparation done. I need a cold drink, so run out of beers, how disastrous is that? Um, I'll probably put some rum in here I reckon. Uh, that's better. Um, up to the next part. So what we're going to do next is uh, set up the uh, winter well. Now I have got a video about the winter well fast fold oven and winter well if you're out there watching this Send me a message because every man and his dog buys one of these 
Terry's bought one, Phil's bought one, Rob's bought one, Dave from a Rising Tourans bought one. I think there's a heap of other people that have bought them off my recommendations. Now, mine's is fairly well used. It's fairly well black because I use it over campfires. I use it everywhere. I think they're absolutely amazing. And uh, why are they called a winner well fast fold oven for? Well, if you've been watching me in the short amount of time that I have been talking about how I promote these things, you will have noticed that I have set this up. So that is why they are called a fast fold oven. Because they're that fast to set up. There you go. I've got myself an oven. Now you can, like I said, you can sit these over gas. You can sit them on the winner well um, fire, pit, oven, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you can sit them on those. You can also sit them, I use them on a camp cube. I've actually put it on top of my camp cube. I don't know whether I've got any footage or photos of that. But uh, it fits beautifully on the camp cube if you were lucky enough to get one of those. But as uh, long as you can put a bit of heat underneath it, um, you can basically uh, use this as an oven, absolutely fantastic. Got a little temperature gauge on the front. There's a couple of shelves. I always sit the two shelves together when I'm only using it for cooking like this. But uh, I'll just put that aside just now. And I'll grab the next thing I need, which is this one here. So if you were camping out in the bush, I, had this. I was lucky enough to have another bag. You, I think I got more bags than Brett Hooker. But, uh, I don't know about that, but uh, I've got a few. So, there you go. The All for Adventure gas stove. One part missing. I've got to go get a gas bottle in a minute, but I'll edit that out when I plug it in. So, we don't need the cook plate or the top. If you're cooking Terry's pizza, you do. We don't need any of that. So I'll set that aside somewhere safe because I don't want it to fall over. All we want is the base piece. That's what's fantastic about this. This winner well fits on perfect on this. Doesn't it Phil? Oh Phil Demiano. He hasn't messaged me again because I put my phone on silent. Um, like I think I've said a few times, he did a cook up on the back of his Pajero there one day. I come home from work and I happened to be watching it and he had the winner well set up on it and he put a pork roast in there and he sat it on the shelf without any baking tray or that and it pierced the bag, all the fat was dripping down onto this and all, all we could see was flame shooting out and he's talking away, not reading the comments and lucky he didn't burn his car down. He eventually found out and we told him to put a tray underneath it and away he went, it was all good so... I am going to sit that on there like that. Now I'm going to face the door facing towards the camera so that when I open it up you can see the pizza stain going in but the back side is where you turn it on over here. I've got to go get the gas bottle so I'll be back in two seconds. Okay, got the gas bottle. That didn't take long, did it? So just got to put this in with the little uh, lip thing on the front of the gas bottle there. Facing up, pretty simple. Just uh, sit it in there like that. Pull the lever down, the gas bottle locks in. Close that up and you're ready to go. So I'll put the uh, stone in there. Now I'm using the Weber pizza stone. I don't need the uh, metal tray in there just yet because I want to do the pizza. But... Uh, I'm just going to sit that in there on the shelf and it fits in there absolutely snug as a bug. So we'll close the door up, I'll go around the back here, press the button in, turn it, 
way it goes. Took a couple of clicks just for the gas to get through. And uh, I'm going to leave that up on high for a while. I'll get this up to temperature and then uh, we'll show you uh, making the pizzas up in a second and uh, we'll get it put in there, eh? Cheers, everyone. Okay, we've just about got everything ready to start preparing. I've got my board down here to do my doughs, everything like that. Look at the oven. She's up to 150 degrees Celsius and nearly up to 350 Fahrenheit. So heating up quite nicely. That um, stone there will be really nice and hot. I'll probably turn that down in a minute just to reduce the heat a little bit. And uh, But now we are going to start doing the uh, dough. So let's get into it. Okay, we just need a couple of things here. We need our doughs. So once again, I bought these at Woolies. There you go there, there's a close up shot of the uh, pizza dough. Got all the instructions on the back there. I got them at Woolies, there's a couple of different types. But uh, that's the one that I've sort of found is uh, pretty good. So let's cut that open so I can get the dough out. We'll drop the dough out there. Now I have washed my hands there a second ago if anyone's interested. But uh, basically just uh, stretch these out. Now sort of found the best way to do it is just grab it and start pulling it. So because you got them at room temperature it should be a little bit better and pliable. So. Just uh, get all the thicker edges, pull them out, stretch them, throw them up in the air. If you can do those, I'm not a chef, so like I said, I'm only a cook. Um, just pull them out, get them roughly out around the size you want them, lay them down. That looks like a map of Australia, that one. Get them out to where you want them. I want them about the size of that little uh, plate there, so that's what I'm aiming for. I'll show you what I'm going to do in a sec. Get him out to roughly the right size. I think that's looking pretty good, you know. I reckon that's about there. Be nice and thick on the edge, and then it'll be uh, thin in the middle. So I've got a bit of baking paper or greaseproof paper, whatever you want to call it. I think it's baking paper actually, not greaseproof. So I'm just going to sit that on there, then I'm going to flip it over. like that then I'm going to put my pizza stain under there have a look at that that's all we got to do now we just got to put all the toppings on it so Annie doesn't like tomato paste or cheese or anything like that she likes a basic pizza so I'm just going to put some tomato sauce on hers. Heap of tomato sauce. Got a little uh, fork here, so it's going to spread it out a little bit, like so. And then it's just a matter of grabbing all the toppings and throwing on it. We'll start off with the uh, beef. So there's the beef we cooked up. Like I said, Normally I uh, would do that in the winter well or in the travel buddy. And we'll just throw little bits of this all over the pizza. These are great for um, taking camping. They're already pre-cooked so all you're basically doing 
is reheating them like you don't have to have them on pizza like you can just have them normally but uh, for pizzas they're absolutely fantastic so we'll throw a bit of this bacon and capsicum and this will give it a little bit more flavour for any and uh, you probably get more than two pizzas out of all these ingredients but uh, I'll tell you what they're quite filling though so um, realistically um, one pizza would probably be enough now this here is just the um, veggies that we cooked up just pumpkin potato sweet potato carrots so there you go there that is the pizza all ready to go now obviously mine will have cheese and some other stuff on it as well but that is Annie's pizza you make your pizza how you like them um, I'm just going to trim a little bit of this uh, paper off because um, I don't want it to catch fire in there there's a bit of a flame sort of in this little winter well here so I'll trim it off as best I can to the size of the pizza that's it we'll move over to the oven now and get it in cheers everyone okay back over at the oven she's up to nearly 400 degrees Fahrenheit 200 degrees Celsius so we'll open her up we'll throw the pizza in there and close her up set an alarm for 15 minutes and uh, we'll just set an alarm and uh, then we'll show you what it looks like hey eh? I'll get mine made in the meanwhile and uh, when we come back and take Annie's out I'll show you what mine looks like hey eh? cheers everyone okay my alarm's just gone off I'll keep the camera nice and close here so I might be a bit out of screen there I've actually got my pizza all made up there it is there I'll quickly open up this door there's the pizza there so we'll sit this back there and uh, we'll get her out eh so there's Annie's pizza there 15 minutes and uh, see if we can see the bottom of it there oh yeah look at that nicely browned up uh, Annie likes it nice and toasty so that is bloody hot even through these gloves so I'll move my pizza and uh, get Annie's pizza slid off the tray over on the Terry G's chopping board over here and uh, I'll get my pizza in That's a good thing about using the grease proof. You can uh, slide it on and off with ease. So I'm going to let that tray cool down for a second because I don't want it softening up the uh, bottom of my pizza too much. But uh, probably could have come out a tiny fraction bit earlier but bloody good we'll just move the camera back over here so you can see me a little bit better but uh, there we go take the grease proof out and uh, throw it out in the bin over here
And I'll get my trusty little pizza cutter here. And uh, chop through this for any. So that is cooked up bloody good. I've got to find where I'll put my plate now. I've got a feeling it's underneath here. So there we go. I'll just slide all that onto that plate there. Okay, all done. I'm gonna go give this to Annie. Gonna get mine on. Only took 15 minutes and it is nice. It's probably a little bit too well done, but uh, it's only for Annie. She'll only see this when I'm finished. But uh, anyone can do this. You can do it when you camp. And we did it the other night. It turned out absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna get mine cooked up now. It'll look exactly the same. So give it a go. The All For Adventure little uh, gas stove and uh, Fast Wild Winter World oven. Absolutely a match made in heaven. So I've got videos about the Fast Wild Winter Well Oven, but uh, so is Terry and uh, so is Phil. Get onto their channels, check them out. And uh, thanks very much for watching. Stay safe, look after each other. I'm going to go give this to Annie and uh, let her enjoy. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, everyone.